a crew member on a cargo ship named Orang Medan, realized he had stepped into the dangerous world of smuggling and pirates. I boarded this ship thinking it was just another job on the shores. Damn ship was loaded with 15,000 crates of mysterious cargo. We take the waters and my fellow crew members began complaining of stomach cramps. I knew something was fishy. One guy just drops dead. I said I should find out what this is. I peeked into the ship's logbook, discovered crates from China containing sulfuric acid, potassium cyanide, and nitroglycerin. That damn sulfuric acid was leaking, creating a deadly gas that was slowly suffocating the entire crew. More men dropped dead around me, so me and six others decided to leave the ship and cling on this lifeboat. No one else is alive but me. Please save me. These were Rabbit's last words to a missionary who found him on the island where the lifeboat ended up. Rabbit succumbed to death before he could be given any medical help. There is no record or evidence that proves Jerry Rabbit's existence and of any ship by the name SS Sarang Medan at all, except one newspaper article published in the 1940s. The story of Jerry Rabbit is one of many tales linked to this phantom ship with wayward timelines and varying tales. The legend of the Orang Medan has been repeated throughout decades. But did the ship ever really exist? And if it did, why are there no records of it? Before we dive deep into the secrets of this ghost ship, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thrilling mysteries. The story of the SS Orang Medan differs depending on the source. In June of 1947, two American ships, the City of Baltimore and the Silver Star, received distress messages from a nearby Dutch ship, Orang Medan, in the Straits of Malacca. A message through Morse code, SOS from Orang Medan, we float, all officers including the captain, dead in chart room and on the bridge, probably whole of crew dead. After a few more incoherent dots and dashes, the words, I die, were received. When the Silver Star crew reached the Orang Medan for rescue, they found the ship seemingly undamaged, but filled with dead bodies, including one of a dog. The corpses were sprawled on their backs, with frozen and frightened faces, open mouths, and staring eyes. There were no survivors and no visible injuries on the bodies. When preparing to tow the ship, a fire erupted in the cargo hold, forcing the rescuers to evacuate. The Orang Medan exploded and sank shortly afterward. The story about Orang Medan was discovered by the world in a series of three articles in a Dutch Indonesian newspaper called De Lokomotiv. Samarang's Hantos and Evertentai Blad. The second and third articles shared the experience of the only survivor, Jerry Rabbit. Remember him? Rabbit was found by an Italian missionary on Tayangi Atoll in the Marshall Islands who confirmed Rabbit's claim and further added that according to Jerry, the ship was sailing from a small Chinese port to Costa Rica, deliberately avoiding authorities. The missionary who found Jerry Rabbit shared the tale to the author, Silvio Shirley of Trieste, Italy, who then spoke to the Dutch newspaper. The newspaper concluded in its last article, This is the last part of our story about the mystery of the Orang Medan. We must repeat that we don't have any other data on this mystery of the sea, nor can we answer the many unanswered questions in the story. It may seem obvious that the entire story is a fantasy, a thrilling romance of the sea. On the other hand, Silvio Shirley assures us of the authenticity of the story. Some claim the vessel was attacked by pirates, while some said it was smuggling dangerous chemicals that suffocated the crew and caused the ship to explode, and a few conspiracy theorists even believe the incident had supernatural causes. Michael East, a history and true crime writer, told a news agency, there is no shipping record of a vessel under that name. 
Nobody ever came forward to say that they knew the ship or had served on her. Equally, the inconsistent dates constantly stand out, as does the changing location. Lloyd's Register of Ships, which has maintained a record of every merchant ship since 1764, says no ship by the name of SS Orang Medan was ever documented, and there are no official incident reports about the ship's explosion or sinking. No evidence of the wreck was ever found in the Strait of Malacca or elsewhere. According to the book, The Death Ship in the South Seas, published in 1953, Orang Medan was carrying potassium cyanide and nitroglycerin, which caused it to explode and sink either during or directly after World War II. If this theory is true, the secrecy surrounding the vessel would make sense as those materials were sensitive items to be transported during that time. Another theory suggests the ship was carrying nerve gas that the Japanese military stored in China during the war. At the war's end, it was handed over to the US military. Since no US ship could carry it openly, it might have been loaded onto the unregistered ship like the Orang Medan for transport to the US or an island in the Pacific. The ship's logs for the Silver Star don't show any record of a rescue attempt. There are doubts about the accuracy of the details like the date, location, names of the ships involved, and the circumstances of the incident, and some even think the story might be made up. The first newspaper account reportedly appeared in 1940 in Britain. It took almost eight years to make its way to the US. In around 1948, when news of the Orang Medan was printed, in reputable publications such as the San Francisco Examiner. Why did the stories emerge eight years apart? Why were the details in them so drastically different? The fact that so many versions of the story of the Orang Medan have appeared over the years points to the tale being more fictional than truthful. As the legend of the ghost ship Orang Medan still haunts mariners today, all tales around it remain unexplained. Click the like button if you think the Orang Medan was real. If you know any theories about this, share in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such compelling mysteries.